Relax your shoulders. He has as much to gain from this as we do. Welcome you to Doro. It has been a long time. Thank you for meeting with me, Lord. I trust our gift was well received. Exotic spices, all of which are foreign to me. I am impressed. Only a taste of things to come. Dublin will soon be known as the pillar of Ireland's trade. To a long life and prosperous reign, my king. Such fealty. You honor me. You must be Eivor. My gratitude for your selfless actions and what preceded my coronation. Lord. It seems my enemies could not wait for my reign to begin before trying to put an end to it. An old tale between Northern and Southern Ian Ale, I'm afraid. But it's one whose ending I will be the author of. Planning a war? A high king should have control over his land. And I shall. If it takes a bloody war, I must be prepared for it. Dublin's trade has plenty to offer and plenty of stout fighters, Eivor included, ready to fight alongside you. I appreciate your desire to strengthen the ties between Meath and Dublin. And as much as I find myself in need of aid, it appears you find yourself undermined by your own people. What do you mean? During the coronation, a monastery was raided and a Christian text was lost. The Book of Kells. Dublin Danes are to blame. Your support would be of great help, let me be clear. But this capriciousness will sooner harm me than help me. I take it the book is important. Authored by monks from the monastery of Iona some 80 years ago it was. After the Danes first reached our shores. It was meant to preserve the Christian faith in uncertain times. Today it is a symbol of that perseverance. If I retrieve the book, set straight the ones who did this. Would you welcome Barath into your court? It would help. These Danes, you know where they are? In a bog in Inch Row, just north of here. Eivor, this is my responsibility. Remain here, I'll see it done. Bark. 
These are the ones who stole the Book of Kells. I should search their stashes for it. This place is heavily guarded.
This confirms Flan's information. The book should be here somewhere. to get on the other side. Don't you, coward!
not price. Cast about this land, my friend. It's you. It's you. <sighs> Thought we told you to leave, Thorstein. Ah, uh, uh, leave Dublin. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but <laughs> this is not Dublin. You did not understand you were not to be seen again. Oh, come now. How was I to know you would find your way out here? Why are you here? Looking for a book you stole. You raided a monastery recently. Oh, it was several monasteries, actually. These new friends of mine do not tire easily. The book is important to the Christians. I need it back. The Christians? <laughs> See? You are an Irish lapdog. <laughs> I, I... I do not have it. Are you upset? <laughs> Please do not be upset. You were upset, uh... I am running out of reasons to let you live. Uh, I know where it is. Boing tunes. Some strange folks offered me this hoard for it. I could not resist. Could you? See? Do you understand? We are very alike, you and I. I, I could just as well be your brother. I I do not kill me. Thorstein, your blood is not worthy of my steel. I could not agree more. Now vanish. I mean it this time. A third encounter you will not walk away from. Oh, I am through with Ireland. 
My ankles ache for how I must dance around all of these kings. It offers nothing. Except for this. I will just take this. And this. <laughs> Aid me, be my eyes. I should not wind tombs. Thorstein said I could find the Book of Kells here. Go, my eyes.
Ugly Greta. Book. Have you found it? Its popularity is ever increasing. This is Owen, Abbot of Armagh. The book is for him. I remember from the coronation. I pray you did not have to endure much to reclaim this. A small price to ensure the High King's patronage. What's this? Lord. You are chosen High King by God Almighty. These are pagans. I mean no disrespect. We Norse have heart and shells, Abbot. It is why we are liked by so many. I only mean to warn Flan of the possible implications. Nothing more. And I am well aware of them, Abbot. I have spoken past what is right. I will take my leave. Lord, please excuse this clumsy intrusion. No need. I am glad to see the book is back in good hands. He is colorful. I do not blame the Abbot for raising alarm. History dictates he has every reason to. What is your report? I have dealt with the leader in the bog. You'll have no more problems coming out of Dublin. Then we shall turn our eyes to the problem at hand. 
Ulster is using its power to sway Connacht. An allegiance that must be snuffed before it takes flame. For that, we need to gain support from the other kingdoms. Speak with Kira. She will guide you in this. I shall return to Dublin to gather men and resources for the march. I welcome them. When we are strong enough, we will meet at Knock Free and devise a strategy. You were gone some time. What happened? The book was in the hands of a strange cult. They procured it from Thorstein. I was weak to spare him. My own son knew better. Chin up, Barith. We have come into favor with the High King. I will feel better the day Flan's trust in me is not shadowed by doubt. Back to Dublin I go. Talk to Kira. We must gain favor with the other kings, quickly. <laughs>